What's going on everybody? Good afternoon, happy Monday, we are back. It's a nice warm one, Southern California. Just had a little earthquake, that was fun, that was nice. I've got a Freightliner Cascadia. Let me show you what we got here, what we're working with. 20, oh, that doesn't show me anything, does it? There we go, 2015, 2016 with a DD13. It's got 257,000 miles on it. On the dash, let's see what the actual computer is gonna show you. Computer shows 452,000 miles. So the CPC was replaced or something on the cluster. I'm guessing CPC was probably stolen. Surprise, surprise. So the reason I'm showing you this is because the customer brought me a truck and he had the mill light, okay? The malfunction indicating light was on. I just cleared the codes because what I'm gonna do right now, this code was uh, present, SCR NOx efficiency conversion low, improper def quality. Now, when you see these two, they usually go together and that's because the computer doesn't know the difference whether you have poor def quality or you have NOx efficiency. Either way, the computer is gonna associate the two together, okay? It's automatic, that's just the way it is. You could have brand new, perfect crystal clear def, uh, you know, straight out of the box, and let's just say it's great, good quality. But if your NOx efficiency drops, you're still gonna automatically get a code like this, and you will most likely get that code where the NOx efficiency is low. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start the truck up. We're gonna to go to our service routines, we're gonna to go to DPF system, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a parked regen. So let me fire that up, let me put the phone down for a second, and let's see what we got. And I'm gonna do a parked regen using the software. Okay guys, so I've done this before, I've done it many, many times. It is now 326, I'm sorry, 226. And we're, again, we're gonna go down to start regen, click on yes, hit yes. And let's go ahead and do a park regen. Let's set the timer, let's see what happens and I'll keep you guys posted. So really quick guys, as I mentioned in my previous videos, engine brakes will go to 100%. That's normal. Next thing you're gonna look for is it's gonna say pending. Pending what? Pending engine in thermal management. So in other words, it's gotta heat up. Once it heats up, you're gonna see this display. It'll pop up here, pop up here. It's gonna do a little self check. It'll do that twice, maybe three times, after which it'll go away. And in about 10, 15 minutes, the doser will start to dose, temperatures will go up and so on and so forth. What I like to look at is the throttle valve, DOC inlet pressure, make sure those numbers are low, which they look pretty good. But again, we just started out, so I'm not gonna worry about it yet. Let's let this thing do the regen. Let's see what happens and we'll go from there. Okay guys, we are back. We're only about 10 to 15 minutes, not even 15 minutes into the regen. And I just wanna show you where we are with things right now. Okay, everything is still warming up. Technically the regen is active, but we're not dosing yet. You can tell by the temperatures. Pressure is good. Uh, for now, I'm a little shocked by this. NOx efficiency is down to 74%. You can see that right there, 316 is the inlet, 89 is outlet, and then efficiency is at 74, 75%. So it is dropping. I do have the AC on. It shouldn't make a difference. Some guys like to do the regen with the AC on. I'm in the truck, it's hot. I'm gonna put the AC on. I'll mess with it a little bit, no big deal. But again, efficiency is pretty low. 70% or higher is passing. If you're starting a regen and you're already at 85% and then dropping, you could have, that could be a sign of other things happening. Maybe the box, maybe there's a def, not enough def getting in there from the doser. There's a couple other things you can check, but that's just to give you an idea of where we are and where we're at. So we're at 78%. Uh, I think we're actually starting to dose now. There we go. You can see that, right? 783, 799, 750, and check that out we're dosing, which means these temperatures will rise up. So, I mean, again, 80%. So it's going up, which I'm expecting that. But just to give you an idea of what's going on and uh, we'll keep you posted again. Okay guys, so we are officially at 15, maybe 17 minutes into this park region. And I'm gonna zoom in here. You're gonna see NOx efficiency is starting to drop. 65%, temperatures are good. That is not a good sign, folks. If your NOx efficiency is dropping now, if you're gonna say, hey, what if it's a NOx sensor? That's possible, it could be a bad NOx sensor, but right now the NOx sensors are holding steady, they're reading properly, they're not erratic, so you don't see that number going from 312 to you know up, down, up, down, same thing for the outlet. So 
That's not a good sign, but again, I'm gonna let the regen keep playing out and see what happens. We're at 70%, it dropped down to 60 something percent. Uh, let me just zoom out here for a second. I am gonna go ahead and put the air back on and let's, that kind of creates a strain back on the engine. And let's see what happens to the NOx efficiency. If the NOx efficiency drops or it stays steady at the 70 percentile, whatever it is. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, Hopefully it's good news. Hopefully we do have a successful region and we have good NOx efficiency. But uh, the way it looks right now, it's barely holding steady. Again, I do have the AC on just to kind of simulate a little more of a strain on the motor, but I'll keep you all All right, guys, we are quickly back just to show you where we are now with the NOx efficiency. We're at 80%. I do have the air conditioning running just to kind of show you guys. Hey, the AC is running. So again, we're at 80% NOx efficiency. We did go down as low as 66%. We started off at 85, dipped all the way down to 66, and now we're kind of holding steady at about 80%. If we're at 80%, going up a hill, for some reason, when it's doing the regen, we'll always kind of get it to dip below the 70%, and that'll trigger some codes. So for now, again, 20 something minutes in, I'm gonna let this go, the regen all the way through, again, 45, 49 minutes, and just you guys, you know, just to show you guys what I'm seeing, what to look for, and hopefully this will be a successful region and we don't have to worry about that too much. All right, guys, we are about 35 minutes into the region, almost done, another 10 minutes or so to go. 80% and holding, pretty good. Temperatures are good. Let's see what we got really quick on the pressure. Pressure is good. So the box itself is hanging in there. Um, unfortunately, again, it's about 81%, and I know that number does decline when you're going up a, up a hill or a climb, especially under a load. But uh, just to give you a little visual of what's going on, again, 35 minutes into a 45-minute region. Okay, guys, we are done. 43 minutes of a parked region. NOx efficiency was hanging tight at about 80%, and the number is going to stop. It's going to drop. That's just normal. It's going to start ramping down right now. So. Uh, this kind of puts the customer in a bit of a pickle because if the efficiency is in the 70s, upper 70s or 80%, it, it could be leading towards potentially that the one box is starting to fail. Uh, it could be DPFs that might need to be replaced or serviced. It's a number of things, but either way, once you start seeing NOx efficiency drop and it's just kind of holding steady at about 80%, that typically means, yeah, your, your one box is starting to fail or there's other things that are gonna need your attention. And that's just the unfortunate side of this particular system, this setup. So that's pretty much it for now. I don't have any other codes coming in. Let me turn this off. I gotta let this cool off for a minute before I actually shut the key down. And that's that's it, that's all she wrote, guys. So again, truck says 257,000, but I know it's got 400, just a little under 500,000 miles. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if this video helps you guys out or helps you guys better understand that, I know there's a lot of variables when it comes to this as far as trying to figure out why something happens or why something fails hopefully this helps shed some light so guys if you have any questions as always let me know have yourself a great day like subscribe let me know what you think